everyone welcome back to our channel and today's video I am doing a haul for you and it is a thrift store haul now those of you who've been watching my channel for a while you know that I'm trying to downsize and using the Swedish death cleaning method of getting rid of things that I no longer use that um, I don't use as much as I used to or that are damaged and broken, I'm replacing them and getting rid of all the stuff that's just excess clutter. But I am bringing in some of the things that I'm replacing from items that are broken or damaged. And that some of those are in this haul right here. So let me turn the camera around and I will show you the things that I did buy. Now, a lot of these items that you're seeing here, they're going to be gifts. Um, some of them are for gifts for a friend of mine. And I don't think she watches my videos. She is subscribed to my channel, but I don't think she watches. And then other these other items that I have her gifts that I have in mind for different people. So let me I'm gonna show you the first thing because it's something I got for the dogs, and I'm gonna give it to them right now. It's this little owl, and it is a stuffed animal. And it's what we call around here the Monchichi. So, let me give the Monchichi to the girls. Uh-oh. Monchichi. Now we see the reaction for the Monchichi. Come here. Here, here. Get out here, Jade. See how Jade wants it? Here's the Monchichi, Jade. You want it? You do? All right, get it. And generally, the first dog that gets it will play with it for a while, and then she'll share with her sister, hopefully. I just realized I was recording away, talking, and I forgot to turn my camera back on after I gave the dogs their toys. So let me start over. I'm going to start back here with this. This is a little ceramic vase that someone has hand-painted, but I think they did a very good job because look at the detail on the little gingerbread guy. It's very pretty, very good detail. I don't know if I can get the focus in or not. Probably not. But anyway, the detail on this is really good. I have somebody in mind that I'm going to give it that to. So put that back there. And then I found this sign, and this sign here is brand new. Because look, it's still got the plastic protection things on the corner. When I first seen that, I thought that was was peeling. You know, the plastic was peeling. Then as, when I picked it up and looked at it, it's actually covering on it. It's brand new. It's never probably been used. And it does have a handle right here where you can hang it. But it also has this kind of hanger right here where you can put nails in it and hang it like that. And I only paid 75 cents for it. Um, if anybody can tell me what I can use to remove this, they write all the prices on their items with black markers, most of the items, instead of using tape. Sometimes you can't get it off, but I definitely want to be able to remove this here and this before I give it away for a Christmas present. Then I found this cute little ensemble. It's snowman Christmas theme. This is a oven mitt. See? with a snowman on it and the little snowman dish towel thing that I guess you hang it up. These look like they're still brand new too. They still got the tags on them. I'm just now seeing on here the price tags. If you look the price tag they wrote on there was a dollar for that. I thought I paid a quarter for it. Let me show you the reason why. I only paid a quarter for the oven mitt, so I figured that was 25 cents too. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm seeing I actually paid a dollar for it. But it's still for $1.25. This is going to be a really cute Christmas gift for somebody. Now, let's see. The next item I'm going to show you is these two little mugs. They're gingerbread mugs coffee mugs. These will make really nice gifts. They're in excellent shape. They're not chipped or anything. I paid 50 cents a piece for them and there was two so I bought both of them. So I actually got a pair that I can give 
to a married couple, or I can just individually give like, you know, one to one person and the other one to another person. So those that. And these I bought for myself, cookie cutters, Christmas cookie cutters. I use these when I make the dog's treats. I've started collecting cookie cutters for that. But I'm also planning on this year, I'm going to be making sugar cookies, Christmas sugar cookies and cutting out and giving to the neighbors around me for Christmas. So I bought these and I paid 75 cents for these. They're brand new, still in the container. And then also I found another, I found a bag with cookie cutters. It has a lot of stuff and it's got cookie cutters. It's got two hole punches. There's a beer can opener in there. There's a chip clip, two, actually two chip clips. And there's, I guess these are straws right here. Let's just, we'll just open it up and look. See what these are, because I'm not really sure. Yeah, these are like tea to stir glasses of iced tea because they're real long and they got like palm trees on them. I don't know what I'll do with those because I mainly bought it for the cookie cutters that were in it. And basically I'm seeing that a lot of these cookie cutters are just like the ones that's in that, that box that I just showed you. This says happy birthday on it. And then like I said, there's chip clips in here. They had five cents on that chip clip. And they don't have anything on this one. This one looks like it's a little bit broke. It may not work last very long. It's got a crack on the side right there. And then I use these things a lot. These hole punchers. And I'm always seeming to misplace them. So I'm glad I've got two backups in here that I can use. Hope I don't misplace them. And I paid $3 for all this stuff was from me I bought me a, a selfie stick and my plans for the selfie stick is to start doing more uh, videos where I'm inside of the stores taking you guys with me and showing you items and put my phone in here and hold it you know so that I can use it for better for vlogging it actually extends Pretty far out, too. Look at that. And I think she only charged me 50 cents for this. I bought two of these there before, and I paid $2 a piece for them. But there wasn't a price sticker on it. The lady at the register wasn't sure. And she just charged me 50 cents. So you got this little hook that you can put. Let me show you. You hook this into your phone, and then I think you can press this button, and it'll snap a picture. I'm not sure I'll have to test it out. And then this little thing right here, I tested all this before I bought it because you can turn that and you can adjust this. The reason I did that, the ones that I bought before, this part here was broken when you put the camera in here. This thing here wouldn't tighten down all the way and it caused your camera to slowly rotate down. So I was glad that I found this one. And that was from me. I did buy a few things from me. Now, all these little houses that you see right here, this little birdhouse one, and these, this little Santa's in, and these right here, all these like this, I have a friend that's into collecting houses. Hopefully, she's not watching this video, and I don't think she is, because I don't think she watches my videos. She does. If she does watch them, she never leaves me any comments or says anything about it, so... That's a Christmas present for her. And then those of you that watch me, me do my cooking videos, you realize the last one when I was talking about that cheesecake that I made, I actually tore up my mixer. The, the uh, beaters won't stay in it. They come out. So I found this one in there. I paid $4 for it. And I did plug it up to see that it worked before I brought it home with me. And it does. It works really, really good. So this is a replacement item because I've already gotten rid of the, the mixer that I broke. So I need to replace it because I do need a mixer every once in a while for items. 
And then anytime I'm any place, yard sales or wherever, if I find Christmas cards, greeting cards, real cheap, I always get them. These were only 50 cents, and it says 32, but I opened the box up and look, and I think there's 18 cards left in there. So I thought for 50 cents, 18 cards wasn't too bad of a deal. And this item right here, this is Grandma's Scrapbook of Memories. I have, I bought this for a present for someone. I've got somebody in mind that I'm going to be um, giving this to for Christmas. Now, let me show you up here. I got two more items. Now, those of you who do watch my cooking videos, you've seen my, um, when I use my pan, I put cake liners in it because it's, it's pretty well rusted up. This is a baker's secret. And it, it looks like it's rusted, but it's not. That's just dirt. It needs to be cleaned. It's really dirty. And it's green on the back. I paid $3 for this. I think that's a pretty decent because I think they're probably $12 at Walmart. Let me show you the one. I brought it in here just so you can see. This is the one that I've been using. See all that rust in there? And there's no way you can get it out. I know because I've tried. See how bad this is? I've had this thing for years. This was actually Echo brand. And anytime I cook anything with it, I had to put those little cupcake paper liners in it because of that rust. I don't trust it. So now it can be retired. And I bought a replacement one for $3 from the thrift store. Now, this last item, I don't have one, so I thought I might need one, so I got it. And it is Pioneer Woman. I paid $3 for it. Beautiful quality cookware from my frontier to you. Pioneer Woman. And it's a griddle. Can you see that? Red handle. And my plan with this is to use it to cook bacon, maybe eggs, sausage, anything else. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Sit it on there, and so that's for me too. So these two items, and the mixer, and the selfie stick, and the cookie cutters for me. Everything else is gifts for people, and the dogs already got their monchichi. And so that is it for this video. Thank you guys for coming to visit with us today, and y'all come back and see us any other time. Bye for this one. I wanted to come back on here and show you guys this little thing that I had in that grab bag that had all the uh, cookie cutters in so I paid $3 for. I was putting that stuff away and I took this out and I was examining it closer. It's not just a uh, can opener. This comes into like a carbinger so you could hang it like on your belt loop. There's a knife right there. That part there is a knife. I popped it out. I cannot do it with one hand. This right here is a flashlight, and it goes up like this. And when I first looked at it like that, I thought, oh, well, I guess the batteries is probably wore out. So I opened it up to look inside to see what type of batteries. The two of the teeniest, tiniest little batteries, three of them, were in there, and they were still wrapped in plastic. So I very carefully pulled the plastic off, and I want to show you what it does. Can y'all see? I got it working. It's the teeniest, tiniest little flashlight, but it still works. The batteries were just wrapped in plastic. Once I took the plastic off, it worked. And I have this same size battery in the living room in my battery case. I have a little plastic container that I keep uh, flashlight batteries and watch batteries and little teeny tiny button, what they call button batteries, because my bathroom scales have this kind of battery too. So isn't that neat? It's a flashlight, pocket knife, soda opener, and what they call a carabinger. Is that what it's called? You can attach it to your belt loop. Like I guess for people that go camping, it's kind of a neat deal. So that was all I wanted to do.